Hi guys, Will, uh, JIT Preparedness Info. Hey, as I was doing some research today for some other stuff, and I came across uh, an article, so I went ahead and read it, copied down some notes on it, and guess what? I'm going to present it to you here in a minute. It's uh, how prepping got started, so hold on, follow my finger. Okay, let's talk about how Preppy got all put together. It was pretty easy when it started way back when. It started way back when Noah was loading the critters on his boat and he had uh, two by two of everything. He was making sure that he was going to be able to survive the big flood. So it was, uh, he was challenging him himself and, uh, and the world, of course. Then in the Middle Ages, people have been pro uh, preserving food for themselves for years without any electricity or anything. You know, that's how they they did it. They grew, their, grew and raised their uh, fruits and vegetables, and then their animals, they raised those as well, like chickens for eggs and had milk and stuff from the cows. So they grew the food in the summertime and then they uh, harvested it and preserved it up for the wintertime. And then most of uh, the meat, they did the same thing. They didn't take all the meat, but they took a, a big chunk of the meat and then they would uh, go ahead, they would slaughter it and then they would uh, process the rest. And some they kept and just fed all winter long so that they could do the same thing in the next year. This went on for thousands of years, of course. Otherwise, they would have perished. And that's what we'd want to not get about. So people have been thinking ahead for centuries. Centuries. Things like chopping wood and... Uh, raising the goats and uh, milking the cows, all that stuff, been going on for centuries. So throughout uh, most of the 20th century, though, the government urged the people to prepare by challenging them. And what they did was try to get them to seek self-sustainability. And anything that would take a national effort. So what they did in World War One, World War II, is they came up with a program called uh, Victory Gardening. Victory Gardening came during the war, and it, what it was, it was uh, a way of rationing food. So what they did was a garden, uh, the Victory Gardens, it was a way of the government getting people to be uh, working towards preparedness. And then uh, yeah, it was a way for them to plant their food. And you know what they found out that 20 million, they got 20 million pounds of food the first year. And then the second year what they did was, this was in 1944, they uh, produced 10, 8 million tons. I had to find it. 8 million tons. I wanted to make sure I got the right number. And that's how much food they raised in 1944. So as you can see, the Victory Gardens did a good deal towards the people being self-sustained. So by the end of World War II, we entered into the nuclear age and people started building what they call bomb shelters. The uh, most popular was the Briar, Greenbrier, Green, Greenbrier Resort. It was mainly uh, built so that the Congress could be safe and co 
Yeah, uh, just in case of a nuclear attack. So, but they were uh, finally found out by the press, and the press uh, let everybody know uh, where it was located at. So they had to uh, open that up to the public, and then what they did was they started building other ones all across the United States. And then they did the people couldn't figure out which one was for the, for the government officials to be uh, put into in case of a, of a ordeal. And what they did was they would have uh, drills, at all of them, you know, they'd have a, uh, the, the bright flash of light and everything, and they would have drills like it was an actual nuclear attack, and then all of them would uh, maintain the drill situation. That's how they could figure out which one, where they couldn't get anybody to figure out which one was which. So the next, uh, so the next generation of preparedness, it started in the mid 70s, actually about 1976. And that's when Carl Saxon he, he actually changed the word survivalism. Up until now, the uh, word for being a prepper was survival or survivalism. So, in about uh, 1976 is when Carl Saxon, he came up with the new phrase, and instead of survivalism, it was uh, prepper or preparedness. So then Howard Ruff, he's another writer, and he put out a book, Fam 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 Famine or Survival in America. And that's what laid the foundation for the rest of the word in the prepper. So in the 80s, the media pinned survivalists uh, as wrongdoers. <laughs> and so prepared, preparedness people, they were tagged as wrongdoers or as crazies, racists, and uh, anti-government people. So all the wrong, the well-doers that are survivalists or pre prepared people, they all started uh, going underground and stayed underground until uh, it was into the 90s when everything started opening back up again. The 90s, uh, you know, 9-11 or Y2K, after all that stuff started doing it, then that's when the preppers actually started coming back out into the open. And ever since then, we have actually been growing on, growing and becoming uh, well known for not being wrongdoers, but actually trying to uh, keep everything uh, going if, in case of a, uh, of a holocaust or anything like that, then we're not going to be called crazy anymore. That's how it came to be. It started way back when, but it actually started uh, back in the 70s. Uh, I gave you that analogy all the way through, but you know, it actually started back in the uh, mid-70s, about 75, 76. And that's when they uh, forced us to go underground. And everybody was like, they were preppers, but they were doing everything underground, like uh, calling themselves campers. <laughs> I guess that's what I would call myself when I was doing it wasn't really a prepper, I'd just go out on weekends and, and learn my skills by camping, stuff like that. Nowadays, it's uh, everybody getting together and learning their skills together, stuff like that. But anyway, that was just a short little video I wanted to put out there for you guys, so you could uh, see that uh, prepperism, or whatever you want to call it now, is actually started in the 70s but it has been going for thousands of years. All right, that's what it got for you. 
Uh, Hope you guys uh, liked that. I just found it and said I'd pass it on to you guys. Have a good one, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. 11.30, don't be late. That's when we do our Monday free-for-all. See you there.